Hi, this is Jack Stanley, and I wanted to continue talking about some of the stuff I have been talking about with recordings. Um, I wanted to talk about the end of the Acoustic Age. There's a reason for this, because when the Acoustic Age ended and the microphone became king, a lot of careers ended. It's interesting, many singers who had specialized uh, with acoustic recording suddenly found themselves in a very precarious situation. Uh, I will mention one singer that really lost favor rapidly, and that was Billy Murray. For those of you who know who Billy Murray was, he was a very popular artist, and he had a wonderful knack of shooting his voice at the recording horn. And do that pop, that, that kind of like pop sound toward the, toward the horn. And it worked well, but it didn't work with the microphone. And Billy Murray was 48 years of age when electric recording started for Victor. So he was not that young vocally or as a popular artist. But he tried. He tried crooning and he just wasn't good at it. And it's interesting to note that if you look at his recordings, he kind of vanishes from the scene. He makes some duets and stuff like that, playing an old mother, actually, with Aileen Stanley in a couple of recordings. Um, but uh, he never really continues that popularity that he had before. And so his career went bye-bye. Now, other things are interesting. You know, when you think about acoustic recording, one instrument had a lot of power. It was the tuba. Really, the tuba had a lot of influence on those early recordings. That was their bass. You couldn't record the bass violin. The, and uh, and uh, the thing is that... Uh, tuba was often replaced. Now, the problem was, when electrical recording came out, the tuba player was really not needed. Interestingly enough, you'll hear in the first year of electrical recording a lot of tubas, but they vanish after that. I've often thought of all the people sitting there trying to find jobs who were tuba players who had a very, very powerful career until the advent of the microphone. Other things changed, too. I mean, the era of the whispering singer, the singer who could croon. You know, acoustic recording required a lot of oomph because you were the power. Once the microphone came out, you could caress the song, caress the microphone. And a lot of the old timers just couldn't do it because they were so used to, you know, driving it into that recording horn. And within five years of the advent of electrical recording, you will notice that most of the old timers are gone. Those that could not transfer or fit in the new style of singing went the way of the dinosaur or the dodo. So it was just something to think of uh, and something to ponder in this whole era of recording that yes, there are various uh, epochs of, of recording, but one of the more interesting and difficult ones were when we went from acoustic to electric recording because in many respects it's very much like in motion pictures when they went from silence to talkies. Some could make the transition and sadly many could not.